I'm here to talk podcasts. How do we do it? What goes into it? We're gonna try and help you. I really love doing podcasts. What even is a podcast? I guess it's just a way to get your ideas out. It's probably a way to express your feelings without being seen. You probably noticed Selden's not here. He's off doing college student stuff. It's just gonna be me for a little bit. But I'm gonna help you start your podcast, disco stuff. So, starting a podcast, you need a few things. One, you need a topic. You need something that people are going to tune into every week and know that is what you're talking about. If you're a disc golf podcast, don't come in talking about baseball. If you are a basketball podcast, don't give away baseball jerseys. That's not how this works. If you want to talk about multiple things, leave your topic broad. Make it a takes pod or a podcast about an entire city that gives you five different sports to talk about. But when you have a topic, stick to it, too. You're going to need a title. This is where your creativity comes out. This is where you get to decide how the people are first going to view you. When we were first starting Slingin' Plastic, we had Slingin' Plastic, obviously, was the first title that came to mind, and we went with it. However, we still have the 69 on the basket to show that we're a little bit funny, but we also didn't expect the viewership that we've already had as, lo as well as the family content that we were going to have. So that's something that you might have to worry about. You have to worry about viewership slash audience. You have to know the people that are going to w listen to your podcast, watch your videos, whatever, etc. You have to know because when we first started Slingin' Plastic, we thought we might get five to ten views. We therefore thought we can say whatever we want, think whatever we want, create our own rules almost. That didn't work for too long because then we started getting sponsorship offers, we started getting people that didn't like the way we were talking, and it did sound a little bit messed up, so we went and we had to fix it. We completely went off the original plan for Slingin' Plastic. Was this a bad move? Not at all. We are so much bigger than we ever thought we were going to be, and that is huge. We love it, and we couldn't be more thankful. Next, you need passion. With passion comes ideas, and with ideas comes content. You're going to have to be able to put out one episode a week at least. When we're starting Sling and Plastic now, we are only putting out one episode a week because we're so busy. But to make sure that episode gets out each week and that it's the best it can be is of utmost importance. We have to spend three hours editing it every week. We have to have guests. We have to do giveaways. We are putting so much work into this that it goes on behind the scenes that nobody even knows about. We are sh examining how much passion we have. That I'm going to put two checks next to because that is the most important thing about starting a podcast. Next, you need to execute. When you say you're going to record, you record. And that's what happens with finding a host slash hosts. That is the most important part of their podcast. You have to have a dynamic with the person that you're working with. For me and Selden, we work great. We're best friends. We talk each and every day about sling and plastic, about life, anything. Anything that comes to mind, we talk about it. That is the type of person that you want to be working with. And last but not least, you need to have guests. Guests make the show lively. They give you another aspect to talk about, and they give the podcast life. Now, all of this, this is all mental. You have to come up with topics, you come up with an idea, and you make it happen. These are all things that you can control with your mind. Financial stability is not going to stop this at all. You can do all of this with any amount of money, all you need is passion and drive. Now, 
to start the podcast and get it out, you need, so I'm gonna split this in two here. This is top, this is bottom. Top is what is important. This is three check mark important. Now the bottom here, you need to have a, a smartphone. This is how you can, at the most basic level, start a podcast. It's really not as difficult as people probably think. You have a smartphone, you download Anchor or any other podcasting app. Anchor for us is perfect. It distributes our podcast, you can record through it, we can have guests through it, it's perfect. It also takes our podcast and puts it on Spotify, Apple Music, Overcast, anywhere that people get their podcasts, Anchor is getting our podcast there. So when you wanna step it up, you go and you get microphones. This is so people can hear you. This is so that you have the most clear podcast you can possibly have. This is crucial to the viewer experience. Although smartphones are good and you get your voice out, microphones make it clear. And now last but not least, this is three by the way, two, one, a soundboard. This is what takes your podcast to the as high as it can get level in sound quality. This is how you mix the podcast. This is how you make sure all of your levels are proper. We don't even have this at Slay and Plastic yet. We still use microphones and you go through GarageBand, which we then upload through Anchor. See how this is working? You build one after the other after you know to success. The tough thing for us was we were gonna start with smartphones, but because we took off so fast, we had to then go buy microphones. Now we have microphones, and soon we're gonna be sponsored and go get a soundboard because we want to give the listener the absolute best quality video or podcast that they can get. The soundboard can help with all of this. And that's why this part is important, but not that important, right? Let's just cross that out. This is two checks important. You can, this, could even be broken down as to three checks important, so you can start, two, so you have good quality, and one, so you have the best quality. This is incredibly important and cannot go on and eat without it. So, we talk about the tech. These are the microphones we use. Simple, $50, really cheap, gets the job done, sounds good, I enjoy it, Sheldon enjoys it, and it's what we use, la 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 la, you know? Now, if you want, to not have to use a soundboard, but use microphones, we use this, GarageBand. Very basic stuff. You literally just record through the microphone, it goes right into the computer. Super easy, get the podcast out. Once we do that, we do it through Anchor. They distribute our podcast all over the place. Spotify, Apple, any, uh, Overcast, wherever you get your podcast, that's where it's coming from, Anchor. They're great, they do everything for us. We can even edit, record, record interviews, do anything else that we have to do, add music, all through Anchor. They do everything, it's as simple as it gets. All we have to do is record through GarageBand, post through Anchor, and it's out for you. So, what does that mean for uploading more? We're gonna start doing it soon. You have to have things to say. Here, we lay out it every time. We have the intro, we have our ad read, we have everything that we want to talk about in this episode. Don't think that you can go into an episode without looking at a script or something to read off of. It won't work. We've tried and it takes so much longer to edit the podcast. So, when it comes to Getting a studio together, I mean, this is our makeshift studio. This is where we do slinging plastic. We have everything we need. We have a big laptop, we have microphones, we have laptops, we have camera equipment. This is where we actually record from up here. We kind of set it up with two chairs, and then we have a big makeshift couch. So you just have to have a space where you can talk and people won't hear you in the background, or vice versa. Yeah. You're probably also wondering, yes, it's a dorm room. Alright, now we're back. We have 
the podcast to do tonight. We have to record the rest of this video and we have to go over the script. But first, we need to go get food. Oh, uh, Selvin's on his way. Oh. Say hello. Slinging plastic. How's it going? Putting a podcast together now for three weeks. Yeah, we have. What tips do you have for anybody that I haven't already laid out? I'd say also be be yourself. Don't try to imitate someone necessarily. Like you can definitely have like an influence for sure. I know we have influenced ourselves, but just try to be you. Be and then perfect what you do. Like perfect your voice. I would say I heard that from a, from a famous podcaster. Yeah. His name's uh, Jared Krabis. I'll give him credit. Don't want him coming after me. Loving the content that you do. If you don't love it, why do it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, just keep recording. Exactly. Don't give up. Because the only way to fail at podcasting, even if you only get like 10 listens a week, is to give up. Because eventually it'll take off. Someone will share it or even, like it. And even if it doesn't, I mean, you're still having fun doing it. Exactly. That's, that's the whole point of it. Yeah. It's something you love to do. Changed man, Selvin. I'm moving the prodigy way, but you know why? Because I found it online for the best price in the world. Where? Retdiscgolf.com. These guys not only have the best prices on discs, both new and used, but they also have merchandise, and they have a lot of it. They have some of the best t-shirts, hats, and beanies in disc golf. on the laptop just had a couple microphones and did some talking yeah it's not that hard it's pretty simple it's all about the passion that you put into it how much do you love it are you willing to do it every day are you willing to spread your word on social media are you willing to put yourself out there for people to occasionally laugh at you but it is what it is it happens yeah if you're you know feel like you reach all those things that we just said then go out and make yourself a podcast do it get your let your voice be heard but until next time we're slinging plastic and Make sure to like and subscribe and follow us on all of our social medias. We'll catch you next time.